So what is up guys, Nick here from Everything Tech helping a master your technology and welcome to the iPhone 7 versus the iPhone 6S Plus. Now I'm not going to go ahead and do a boot up test because it's just not worth it here. Both of these devices are very quick and this is not a speed test but more of a, you know, should you buy, what should you buy? Now this is an important question that many have been asking themselves because you can get the iPhone 7 for around 649 bucks. And and you can also get a 128 gigabyte 6s plus for around the same price or a 64 gig i'm not sure which one it is but both are right around the same price point and people have been asking should i get the small iphone 7 or should i get the larger iphone 6s plus now if we just go into a couple of apps i'm not going to run anything heavy here if we just go into a couple of apps these devices perform just about the same. Now, with that capacitive touch here on the iPhone 7, you do get a, a quicker response back to the home screen here. But you gotta remember, for this price point, you're not even getting a 1080p display here on the iPhone 7. Whereas on the iPhone 6s Plus, you're getting a full HD retina display. Now, you could argue that, you know, the 7 gives you like a, you know, P3 display with more accurate colors and closer to cinema grade. And the 6 Plus Plus doesn't. The 6S Plus for the same price gives you a much larger display. Now, the 6S Plus, just because it's not a P3 display, doesn't make it a weak display. It's still a very sharp, very crisp display here for the 6S Plus, coming in at 401 pixels per inch. Now, in terms of the way they feel, if you get the matte black, if you get the silver, the gold, the rose gold, any of the aluminum builds, they feel almost identical. The iPhone 7 and 6S Plus, literally, it's like the same 7000 series aluminum, so it feels like exactly Exactly the same in your hand regardless if you go with a 6s plus or a 7 in terms of its build quality now the you know the camera is a little bit of a different design here you get a much bigger camera it might be a little bit more stylish it's really up to you to decide 12 megapixel eyesight camera here 12 megapixel eyesight camera here the one on the 7 is a little bit better than the 6s plus it does produce slightly better detail slightly better accurate colors but it's not so much better that I would say that this is the deciding factor between the two now, the iPhone 7 is going to give you a much more portable size, but going into purchasing an iPhone 6S Plus or an iPhone 7, we kind of know that if we get a 6S Plus, we're getting a super large phone here, and that's kind of what we know going in, and that actually might be why you're deciding this over this guy. Now, the battery life is actually better on the iPhone 6S Plus than the 7. The 7 has a much smaller battery inside of its body, so you're going to expect that there. So, with the iPhone 7, you will get haptic feedback, so a little haptic engine inside of this device. So, what that means is when you pull down the notifications tray, you cannot see it here on camera because it's more of a feel thing. You'll literally feel the subtlety of that Taptic engine drop down with the notifications. Also, if I go over into settings here, when you scroll through the 3D touch on here, you feel that Taptic engine right down here vibrating, whereas you don't feel that here for the iPhone 6S Plus. So if I go into 3D touch, like I say, you're not gonna feel it on camera, you can't feel through the camera, but you don't feel anything here. It's just a regular, just going through it, it just feels like you're just touching the display. So that Taptic engine is a plus, for the iPhone 7 Plus, now 7 Plus, iPhone 7. So over here, you do get a 3.5 millimeter headset jack here for our iPhone 6S Plus. We are not gonna get it here on the iPhone 7. You're gonna get no 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Although this is not a problem if you do have a Bluetooth. Let's get into focus there. If you do have a Bluetooth here, you, you know, a Bluetooth headset is gonna be just fine. Or if you have the 3.5 millimeter headset dongle, that'll be just fine here as well. So coming back home, let's just do a little bit of an app test. I know we didn't, I said I wasn't gonna do it, but let's just show you a couple of applications. So let's go into YouTube here, and you can see over here into library, you can see about the same, they keep up at the same level. Let's go home here, and you can see about the same there. So let's go into clock, go over here in the clock here on both devices you can see about the same so we could run this all day these performance tests and neither is gonna make a big difference so what are some other things you get with the 7 that you don't get on the 6s plus so with the iPhone 7 you're gonna get these front firing speakers that are much louder than the speaker here at the bottom of the iPhone 6s plus now this is no tinny weak speaker here on the 6s plus it's actually a pretty strong speaker but it's just not as loud as those front firing speakers here for the iPhone 7 here 
Now the iPhone 7 does give you a 7 megapixel camera there on the front, which does look actually a bit better than the one on the iPhone 6s Plus. Hello, hello, how you doing? You could just see the camera there. But it does look a little bit better here for the 7. And um, But other than that, you get 4K, you get live photos on both cameras. Let me go into the camera here on the 6s Plus. You get 4K, you get live photos on here, you get video, you get all the works here for both devices, time lapse, it's all here on both devices. So that's pretty cool stuff there. You get slow-mo, video, photos, square, pano, all that good stuff here. So in terms of the camera, about the same here. Now, what else is different? So with the 6S Plus, I think you get a slightly less, you know, or worse camera up here at the top. I think I said that already. But the call quality is a little bit better in my experience on the 6S Plus. It just sounded a little bit crisper. And I had a little bit of a signal issue with the iPhone 7. But it's not so much of a difference that it's a deal breaker. Now in terms of iOS, the iPhone 7 does have a quad core A10 Fusion chip which should be able to run iOS much longer than what you're going to have here on the iPhone 6S Plus. Well I shouldn't say much longer, but a little bit longer, maybe a year or two more. As iOS progresses, you do have the power here in the iPhone 7 to run it quite a bit longer than the iPhone 6S Plus, but that A9 is still a great, you know, chip. But what's different between like say the 7 Plus and the iPhone 6S Plus is they have three gigabytes of RAM, whereas these guys both had two gigs of RAM. So these are gonna be really close in terms of performance here in the year of 2017. Now, with the iPhone 7, you do have some design changes which are welcome, such as you don't have the antenna lines and it looks really hidden here on the matte black. It really looks like there's no antenna lines at all, but they are there if you get a little bit closer to the device. See if we can get a little closer. They are right there. This is a little bit hidden. Let's come back out here. And on the 6S Plus, those antenna lines are there. Some people might like them. I personally didn't like those antenna lines, but overall, not too shabby there. In terms of gaming, they're just gonna game pretty much the same level because Apple A10 CPU with the GPU, they only kind of slightly overclocked the GPU. So the GPU on the iPhone 7 is, it's just not quite, uh, it's not super powerful over the iPhone 6S Plus. So the GPU status of the 7 and the 6S Plus are pretty similar. Gaming is gonna run well on both here. And yeah, that's pretty much my assessment of iPhone 7 versus iPhone 6S Plus. I mean, we could go into detail, but these are pretty close to the same phone, just one's bigger. And the iPhone 7 does have a few features over the 6S Plus. And the one I didn't mention is the water resistance. Also, it does have higher storage capacities, but specifically, you get more storage, a bigger screen, and um, you know, I think maybe a better value with the 6S Plus for the same price point. Now, if you're talking about the 7 Plus, I think the 7 Plus is a better phone than the iPhone 7 or you know over the iPhone 6s plus 2 but in terms of this comparison if it was my choice I'd go with the 6s plus over the iPhone 7 but that's just my preference you might differ let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section of this video let's chat about that there's is there any reasons I missed is there anything I missed between iPhone 7 versus 6s plus which should you buy which one would you buy are you asking yourself this question like I say let's chat about that down below if you enjoyed this video click the like button for me subscribe to the channel for more technology videos like this this was Nick here helping to master your technology be sure to be well I will catch you all in the next one and peace